Okay. Um, maybe you should pose it in the question and then I'll be able to start. Okay. Um, so what are you going to take from tonight? What is the um, most important thing that kind of stuck out to you when thinking about documentation and art and kind of intertwining the two together? Um, to me, the most important part or part of the conversation is the, the essential dilemma and the essential problem of realism, I guess, which is at the core of documentary. And I think that kind of stems from a critique of objective truth. And um, because I think objective truth is really what's at the core of realism. And um, I think the instability of, of objective truth really um, necessitates that we embrace ourselves as um, participants when we're documenting. Based on what the panelists had to say about how they document things and the process they go through, it got me thinking that the last project I did was really complex and I feel like I either tend to work and put a lot of time in something and make it very complex, but then like it communicates something simple. Or other times, like, I, you know, make something simple that it takes you long, it has complex meaning. So I'm kind of fighting between, like, which one do I want to do. The more authentic communication and visions, mm -hmm. and, like, cross-cultural, I'll take that What I'm going to take away from today is the importance and relevance of documentation and... I kind of gained some insight into all the different media platforms that are present in uh, the scene today in so many different ways to document artwork um, and kind of put it together that motion picture can be a way to include all of these different elements of documentation including audio, still photography, video, and monologue. Um, so that's kind of where my head went with it all. Something that I'm going to take away from tonight um, is we discuss tangibility um, and documenting things and throwing them into books um, and having the tangible thing to look at that is a lot of people um, respond to that better and uh, yeah they respond to it better and I think it's more intimate to hold on to something um, especially if it's a documentation of something that you could have walked through um, holding on to it and being able to hold it is much more intimate I think it was interesting to the discussion points that make you reflect a little bit on the responsibility of the documentarian. Um, just what story are you trying to tell and um, what are you going to leave in that story? What will you omit? Um, it's kind of like crafting a piece of art in itself. So. After talking tonight and hearing people's responses about the process of documenting art, um, I realized that not only is it an essential part of uh, capturing a piece of history or capturing a creative process, but that it can really function as an art form itself and one that people really appreciate and are willing to become engaged with. I think the biggest thing I'm going to take away is uh, documenting like, with respect to the artists, like how am I going to show their work without overstepping their ideas um, or kind of like projecting my own. So I guess non-biased documentation. What I'm going to take away from tonight is the importance of sound and the tangible feelings that you can have inside your eardrums. Picking up sounds with a microphone, walking through the cell and chart, just seeing all of the dying human existence that used to be around. It's never, it's not going anywhere. We forget about it and replace it every day. The most interesting thing to me tonight was mostly the idea of documenting it in traditional ways um, as opposed to just video or just photography um, to really open up thinking about different ways of documenting a space or an event and creating work out of that actual document. I, um, I've never really thought about documentation that way, so that's got me excited about doing it for this and all.